877-692-1027. Big congratulations, Fezzy. It's in the papers everywhere. Rosie O'Donnell's gal pal. I love that term. Yeah, me too. Gal pal Kelly Carpenter is pregnant. So the, the expectant couple is overjoyed. Sure. This revealed by Us Magazine says they recently visited the gyno together. Ah. Where Kelly Carpenter was having a sonogram. So they're going to have another one. They uh, went to the gyno, which was actually where they met, which is beautiful. <laughs> That's a lovely story. So do we know who the, uh, the sperm donor is? We have no idea who the donator is. Is the big money on David Crosby? Because the lesbians love the Crosby blood. I think uh, that's a good that's a good uh, guess because that way the baby would look like Rosie. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. Same mustache, right? If they used David Crosby, it would have the same build. Well, congratulations to the two mommies. There they are, mommy and more mommy. That's more what, mommy. That's what their kids call them. So Rosie's got uh, three adopted kids, which she no longer even wants. Oh, they're disgusting. Those unblood-related ones. Why does a Rosie try to get pregnant at the exact same time? And they can both try and have their kids. <laughs> hey, Rosie's uh, family might be perfect to replace the Osbournes. Oh, that'd be nice. I'd watch them on Tuesday night. Sure. We big-ass time to cast them. Now, but, there's also rumors, Ronnie, that mm -hmm. a possible sperm donor? Yeah. The Big Show. Really? The Big Show, yes. They wanted a father. Since it's going to be <laughs> Kelly Carpenter's egg... They wanted uh, the sperm donor to at least resemble Rosie a little bit. I wish they would use little uh, Jack Osborne, who America that would work. has fallen in love with. As <laughs> and the baby would look like Rosie. Again, no matter what happens. <laughs> Any of these dads, the baby looks exactly like more mommy. <laughs> I'm thinking, all right, I have a choice of two here. Either Big Pussy or Bakla from uh, The Sopranos. Oh, yeah. Either one of them. Those two should uh, actually do it. They could be possible sperm donors. They should be daddy and big daddy. More big daddy. 877-692-1027. What about Dom DeLuise? Dom DeLuise. If they could actually get him in the mood, they'd have to give him some sort of honcho material to batch to. Yeah, that's true. Don't they just uh, somehow suck the batch themselves now? Don't they take it out in the needle? Oh, they do? I don't know. Oh, I bet you still had to run one. No. Boy, there's no fun in this whatsoever. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm uh, I'm not sure. So congratulations to the O'Donnells. They should have used Chris O'Donnell just so they could really have the actual last name. That would have been great. Here's uh, a Joe. Yeah, they should have used a Billy Staple sperm. That way the baby will look like Rosie. Ah, ah. Well, there's some ready. Ah, Maybe the baby will be born ah, an alcoholic, though. There's another batch. Ah, ah. Ah. The, Maybe, pro the problem would be getting Billy to stop running batches with his big meat fist of his. Maybe she could stay close with the Irish thing and go like Rosie O'Donnell, but the father would be Ronald McDonald. Oh, and just, okay. Yeah. And just actually, Fez, <laughs> have that help. That would work. That would work. I'm thinking, you know, they're old enough and they would resemble Rosie. I'm thinking either Engelberg, the fat catcher from the Bad News Bears, or Goldberg, the fat goalie from Mighty Ducks. Aren't they the same kid? No. But for some reason, those kids' names always end in Bergs. The fat kids are right. always Jewish on these teams. All right, here is uh, JJ. JJ, you're on Rana Fez. Hi, JJ. Hey, it's KJ. Okay, oh, KJ. Sorry, KJ. You're 13062. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, Louis Anderson, I heard, was a sper sperm donor. That would be perfect, Fez. Nice. Show me insemination. <laughs> is there any way I can visit my own child? They took my baby from me. Yeah. Hey, uh... Anthony, you're on Rana Fez. Louis can carry Mark? it. Hey, What's Anthony. Up? You guys call and hold the 13503. Uh, buddy. Hoo Thank you, buddies. Uh, how about uh, they wanted a baby to look like Rosie? How about the living legend, Bruno San Martino? I would love that. <laughs> the living legend. <laughs> or maybe even his son, David San Martino. Yes, Bruno Jr. 
These are uh, great people to actually give the sperm. Hey, uh, Shannon, you're around a Fez. Buddy. Buddy. Hey, Shannon. I'm thinking Kamali Gun and Giant has got to be a perfect donor. <laughs> that little baby just... <laughs> and, See back. you later. And that way the baby could look exactly like Rosie. Yes. They wouldn't have to worry about it. Hey, uh, Yogi, Yogi, you're running around a Fez. What's Hi, going Yogi? on, boys? Uh, if you want somebody to look like Rosie, you got to have Bert Young be the sperm dog. <laughs> Bert Young would be great. Holly from Rock. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. When he was on the Sopranos, yeah, he yeah. was that Burt Young. Yeah, at that, at that point, he looked a lot more like Rosie. <laughs> Older Burt Young. Hey, uh, John, John, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, hey John. Boy. Yeah. 12, 156 here. Hoo-ha! How about uh, a comedian, Kevin Meany? That's Art perfect. official insemination. There That's you go. Right. We're not big sperm people. Not here. How's he doing with his troubles? I don't know. Last I heard, he tried to punch out an airline security person. Uh, he's, uh, he's a wild man, <laughs> Kevin Manny. That's not right. Checking for shoe bombs. I always tell you, don't F with him. He's a Manny, Fez. He's a Manny, this guy. We're not shoe bomb people. Hey, Barry, Barry, you're on run of Fez. Hey, buddies. Hey, buddy. If they uh, wanted to look like a Rosie, they should have the Stay Puff Marshmallow guy from Ghostbusters. All right, now we're just being cruel. <laughs> Some yeah. of this stuff comes across as cruel. Right. It hurts, buddy. All right, buddy. Bye. We're thinking more along the lines of a Dan Deerdorf. Dan Deardorff would be good. Be an excellent donor. What about Michael Skake? Oh, yeah. He's so popular right now <laughs> and in the news. The, uh, the, He's well-dressed. The country club uh, Kennedy cousin. Kennedy nephew. Is there Ernie Borgnine? Is that out of the question? I still think Ernie Borgnine, at this point in his life, could come up with the tadpoles needed. That way they named the baby Mikhail. <laughs> Mikhail O'Donnell. What about George Went? I it's going to look just like Rosie. The problem is he sweats a lot. Yeah, and that's true. And living in Miami. Yeah, that's true. And the whole nappy hair. I don't know where that comes from on George yeah, Wentz. I don't get it either. I don't understand it. Mm. Hey, Kenny. Kenny, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, Kenny. Hey, hey buddy. Hey, I know who it is. Yeah. It was uh, Marlon Brando. He offered her a sperm. She couldn't refuse. That would be nice. Brando also <laughs> in some kind of uh, problems getting sued by his maid. Who he's had three children with. <laughs> Lazy. <laughs> John, the maid come in here. Fuzzy, what about John Goodman? John Goodman, that would work. That would be nice, right? Yeah. But you want the baby to be big like Rosie. Right. Oh, not little. He like, may not be big enough. Well, I figure since he was already with another Rosie, it would work out for him. <laughs> Here's Anthony. You're on Ron of Fez. Anthony. Hello, Anthony. What's going on, gentlemen? Two yeah. five five eight over here. All right, buddy. Hoo-ah. All right. I think uh, since they got the same kind of head, well, my first one will be Devito. You know what I mean? He'll be big, but now you know, not all of them will be big anyway. Well, Danny right Devito, now. sure. And uh, Nathan Lane, because in that way, that kid had no chance of being a heterosexual whatsoever. <laughs> you think the kids do anyway? Nathan Lane would actually be perfect. Me and Fez could raise a kid and have a better chance of being a heterosexual. <laughs> Here's uh, Jeff. Jeff, you're on Run of Fez. We're raising Hawk. Hi, Jeff. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. Uh, I got a good one from the 90s, a wrestler named Bastion Booger. I remember Bastion. <laughs> he was great. A.K. Norman the Lunatic. Yeah, right. he liked WWF ice cream bars. <laughs> hey, yeah, he ate a lot of ice cream bars. Hey, Dan, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, Dan. What's up, buddies? Hey, buddy. How about George the Animal Steel? That would be nice. Mine! The only problem yep. is uh, George's not hairy enough. Oh, Need that's somebody true. Harrier. But that baby would be huggable. Huggable. <laughs> Here's uh, Scott. Scott, you're on Run of Fez. Hello, Scott. Buddy, buddy, what's up? Hey, buddy. Ba-da. Yeah, how about uh, Robin Williams? He's a nice little hairy Mark for Mark coming out of him. Looks exactly like Rosie. <laughs> hairy and funny like Rosie. Sure. sure. Here's Sean. Sean, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, Sean. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Bye. I just heard who it was. Who's it was that? Newman from Seinfeld. Oh, hello, Newman. Hello, new baby. <laughs> oh, hello, new baby. What's the other uh, baby that they're uh, always talking about? Parker's, the, I think, the seven-year-old. And Parker's not even a real kid. Yeah, there's Parker and Chelsea and Blaine. If I adopted a baby and then I found out I could have a baby, I wouldn't want the one that I adopted. Especially if it got all older and gangly. All buck teeth and elbows. Get out. I just like a baby I can cuddle. Sure. 
After that, the disgusting Blake. Blake's the other kid's name. Here's uh, Andrew. You're on Run Fez. Blake was a sports guy. Hey, Hi, Andrew. Hey, what about uh, Stephen Baldwin? Because they were so convincing as uh, husband and wife in the Flintstones. <laughs> well, actually, they weren't in the same Flintstones together. You'd have oh, to go with Rick Moranis. Yeah. Nice try, though, Andrew. <laughs> you had the nice, uh, you know, you had the attitude. You just yeah. lost it, though. You had a tie-in. Yeah. Hey, uh, Tommy. Tommy, you're on Run Fez. Yeah, hey, Tommy. I was going to be Don Geronimo with uh, that beard. All right. Please. Here's uh, here's Rich. Rich, you're on Run Fez. Hello, Rich. Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. Buddy, buddy. How you doing? Big ass 9800, baby. I heard they were trying to be more pure about it. It was Ron Jeremy. That would be nice. Ron Jeremy would be nice. We could have probably played like a uh, match game or family feud with this. Because he went off air and seen what uh, <laughs> out of 100 people looking for the top five responses of who could have possibly fathered Rosie's baby. It's got to be a big giant head, Fizzy. You're looking for that. George Bush Sr., a Dan Aykroyd. Oh, they have giant heads. Nobody's head is as big as Rosie's, though. No. She can't wear a cap. No, she always tries. She'll show it off, too. She always tries. Yeah. And it won't go on there. You're talking about big giant heads. What about the Eddie Trunk? Oh, my gosh. That thing. That's a tank sitting on some shoulders there. The, uh, the Mets did not have a cap that he could put on his head. Isn't that sad? And he tried. That's a true story. All right, here's only answer feedback, John Madden. Oh, that's a big head. Uh, here's also, I hope it's not Jeffrey Dahmer's sperm. The kid would eat its way out of the womb. <laughs> that's a, a little cruel, I think. He's going to meet its father there. Not even, <laughs> it's mother. Mikey D says, what about Big Kev? <laughs> Haywood brings back an old name, Walter Hudson. We all love so much. Sure, if they had some frozen DNA. Uh, Panette, John Panette comes up on the instant feedback. How about Tony Saragusa? That's a big head. It's a giant head, giant everything. Giant body, giant head. Hey, uh, Chuck, Chuck, you're on Run Fez. Hey, Jack. What's up? Uh, we'll keep up the showbiz thing going. How about the great fat tenor, Pavarotti? Pavarotti. Or Benny Agbayani. Yeah. Flip, flip, flip. We're thinking big heads. I'm thinking Sid and Marty Croft's on HR Puff and stuff. Yeah, who we loved. Yeah. Tony. Hey, Tony. Bottle to thirteen four four six. Hoo hoo uh, In the wrestling vein, uh, Bam Bam Bigelow. Now we all have the ha tattoos on the head, ready to go. The all flame right, head. Yeah. See a little fr flame head crowning. Hey, um, Andy. Andy, you're on run of fuzz. Hey, Andy. Buddy. Hey, buddy. But I the best one so far, Ass Man. You know, we haven't talked to Ass Man since uh, we made up. He was busy donating the sperm. Yeah, he was busy <laughs> donating the sperms. Thank you very much. Let's try to get ass men on tonight, and not just the cursing ass men. Okay. He was a judge at the Cruel Circus a few Fridays ago, and I thought we cleared the air at that point. I guess we app didn't. Apparently, we're being snubbed again. I'll get him on the phone. Do your best. I mean, this Roy's actually turning into a hell of a producer, Fuzzy. I never compliment. He could be the next Hawk. Wow. That's a huge compliment. Right now, I feel like we got Hawk... We got Rory, we got the Tenacious C, who just does dirty jokes in the beginning of every show. <laughs> Doing a great job with her opening. Hey. What? Hey. What? By, seriously, can I say I thought your opening was fabulous. I loved it. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it was better than ever. Uh, later tonight, you're going to be <laughs> judging a contest for us, too. Okay? Can't we? So be on, yeah, be on your toes tonight. When, you don't have much longer with us, right? No, just What's your about last a, a week and a half. Wow. That's all? Yeah, next week's my last week. I thought week. we had like another month with you. Oh, I wish. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We already lost Wonder Boy. Well, it gives us a chance to get another cake. Sure. We'll at least have that much. Hi, this is uh, from uh, Brooklyn Strunge on the instant feedback. A Terror from the Wanderers. You have to see that movie. It was a <laughs> I don't know what that is. Did you ever see The Wanderers, the movie where uh, it was like a Brooklyn movie where everybody was in different gangs? Oh, okay. Wanderers. No, no Warriors. No. I was thinking Warriors. Of. Wanderers is, uh, was more like a 56. Oh. This guy had a big, giant, bald head. I also think that he was in a Richard Pryor movie with uh, Gilda's husband. With Gene Wilder. Where they were trying to escape from like a rodeo prison. Oh, from Stir Crazy. Yeah, oh, he yeah. He was a giant bald-headed guy okay, with that. Okay, I know what you mean. And he boxed Popeye. Right. 
In the Robin Williams He's Spotlight great. movie. Why doesn't he work more? Tara's a great actor. <laughs> hey, um, Bill, you're on a fence. Hello there, gentlemen. Hey, Hi. Bill. Hey, how about Pat? Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Audience of feedback, Hawkback, a person named Hawkback, said, you got to like the odds of the donor being Andy Richter. And then Avi says, won't they just shove a spoonful of pudding in there? Which... In my opinion, Fez is cruel. And besides, that wouldn't work scientifically, would it? A pudding baby? I believe it can. If my experiments are correct, I believe it can. Oh, would I love a baby made of pure pudding. Now I'm starving. I know. That sound good? Put them in a little whipped cream hat. Oh, you're killing me. Fezzy, seriously. You're killing me. I gotta have pudding now. John, you're on Ron and Fez. Ron and Fezzy, how you guys doing? Hey, hey John. Hey, would Alex Karras, I think he looks a lot like, uh, both her father and possibly the sperm donor. Well, here's the deal. Is Alex Kiner still alive? Wow. Well, he could have put, so put, put it in that big-ass freezer of hers. Yeah, that's true. Right, around. What about who, who sings uh, Bad Out of Hell? That's meatloaf. meatloaf. That's a great meatloaf. You know, shave his head down about three feet, and uh, it could be past for Rosie, maybe. The father uh, was Robert Paulson. That's good, Fuzz. Uh? That's good for the Fight Club fans. You're staying on the edge now. <laughs> That's yeah. what I like what you're bringing to the show. It's an edginess. The uh, now on DVD humor. Yeah. And I would be willing to bet Alex Karras is still alive. Yeah. I think Alex is alive. This from uh, on the answer of feedback uh, from a guy who calls him calls himself the homo boy was a job of the hut. Java would be good or any of the huts, really. Now, the huts, what you have to do is we'd have to get her to Tatooine. And I don't know how that would work out. Yeah. I don't know whether. I don't see Java that. coming here for the job. Java. Is he going to be in the next one? Next Star Wars? Yeah, I bet we get some Java. People love Java. Hey, do we have a bet whether Spider Man's going to be bigger than Star Wars? Yes, we do. And that's you? Yes. What I, did you take? I said Spider Man's going to be bigger than Star Wars. I say Star Wars. And we'll just have a gentleman's bet. Fezzy, where do you go? Ah, uh, I like Star Wars. Yeah. How oh, gross in Spider-Man. Spider-Man's going to be big, though. I can't wait. I got I to gotta get my tickets tonight. Now, here's what I'm wondering. Can I order them and then go pick them up before, like a day before? Or do I have to do it that day? You have to pick them up that day. F. You can't pick them up beforehand. F. Isn't there some kind of a special radio host line? That they have. Where they print the tickets early. I'll check it out. <laughs> Some kind of early thing for radio hosts. How about the fact that we know Norton who's starring in this movie? Starring. Yeah. Talk to Norton. Okay. I'll talk to Norton. I'll get you those tickets. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be like, what? Uh, the guys were wondering if we could use your stroke to get some Spidey ticks. Yeah. That's the big deal. <laughs> Here's uh, Bob. We gotta get that resolved because it comes out this Friday. Hey, Bob. Yo, buddies. Yeah. All right. Here's my uh, pick. If he could find it, I would say Rush Limbaugh. You hear much from Rush? Is he still um, deaf? He had the brain surgery, and he's not supposed to be as deaf anymore. I don't know what happened after that. I like my deaf guys to stay deaf. All right. This on the end. Some feedback. Norton didn't even get invited to the preview. Hollywood can be a cruel, cruel place. Oh, sure. I know, because a good friend of mine, Mikey D, was in the movie The Godfather, and he was telling me all about it. And they made him wear short pants in a snow scene. It's just me. We, we all remember that scene. <laughs> Finally, some child labor laws came into effect. And everything was good from there. Who's had a stranger life than Mikey D? He's had a great life. Everything involves Broadway. It's sure. nice. Everything's Tony Award nominated. That's the way to live. Hey, Randy, Randy, you're on a Fez. Yo, what's up, buddy? Randy. How's it going? 307 over here. Hoo-ha! I figured out who the donor is. Who's the donor? It was Jared from Subway right before he lost the weight. You know, Jared would be smart to keep walking away from that uh, relationship, <laughs> Fezzy. You keep stepping it. Now, I don't know how all this works legally. I'll check with Hawk. But if you're the sperm donor, right? Right. And I'm saying, let's say I give it to your, I don't know, your sister or somebody like that. 
Just somebody, you know, that I'm not like you have given it to my sister before and it was unwanted, my friend. But that was in the can. So nothing could happen. I believe in safe sex. Can sex. Oh, good. All right. Let's suppose I did that, Fez. All right. Let's suppose, you know, uh, and then uh, later I go, you know what? No, that is my son. Am I allowed to come back into that now? Can I claim anything? Has anyone ever done that before? I would say, yes, I bet you're entitled to visit that kid. There's no kind of sign-off? I bet even if you signed off, you could still challenge. And then, of course, you're going to be liable for some support, too, right? If you want involved. Yeah, I didn't think of that. I ain't going to pay for that kid. Because I don't think you're going to get that both ways. I don't even pay for my... I got her both ways. What I'm saying Leave is Leave my sister out of this! Oh, I'm already done. Let me just tell you this, Fuzzy, and I mean this in the best way. Your sister, seriously, Hellcat. She is a little tiger. All right. I get the picture all too well. Now, if you're the sperm donor to Rosie's kid and you claim, wait a minute, that's my kid. Could you also get some sort of support from Rosie since she's worth a billion dollars? Yeah, that's a good point. Because you'll get some sort of custody of the kid and then you'll need her support. All right, we got Ass Ben on the line here. Hey, Ass Ben. Hey, guys. How you doing, buddy? All right, pretty good. What have you been up to? We haven't seen you since the last gig. Uh, you know, doing work and everything. I've been, been kind, of, kind of busy, and uh, I think I, I think I might be the uh, donor there. Oh yeah, uh, he could actually be the donor, Ass Man. Now, so how much weight? Donor. How much weight have you lost, Ass Man? Uh, seven months, one hundred and sixty-one pounds. Wow, that's just amazing. Now, have you had sex since then? Uh, yes, I have. With a girl. Yes, I have. Wow. Really? Are you in love? Nah, it just, it was basically sympathy, sympathy sex. That's okay. That's okay. the only kind I've ever gotten. Yeah. Did you, did you pay for it? Was it pro? Uh, I can either confirm or deny any exchange of money, but, um, you know, it wouldn't, be a, wouldn't make me a bad person, would it? No, nah, that's not one bad. bit. Now, you were talking about fighting uh, Hard Rock Johnny at our night of fights. You still arrested? Unfortunately, I had to confer with my doctor. My doctor is frowning upon that. Why? Uh, because of the operation. He's not exactly the happiest person with uh, me actually uh, having a, fight, a fist fight with somebody. I know. Uh, Billy Staples has had uh, the same procedure, and he boxes. Is that a problem? And or? he actually won. Well, the thing is, is he's had more time to uh, recuperate after the surgery. If this was a little bit more... You know, further down the line after the I surgery. say, I understand. Uh, okay, yes, man, we appreciate it, buddy. No problem. We'll see you out there anyway, okay? All right, talk to you guys later. Okay. Good. Hey, take care, ass man. Every show, ass man's on. He's got a different name. <laughs> what is he it's on? The cast of characters by himself. What is he on Pharrell's show? Pharrell, I'm not sure, but I know on Donna Mike, he's uh, fat guy. The fat guy. The, the fat guy. That's Billy Staples. Uh, Pharrell, he has some kind of crazy name. I can't even think of it. Somebody told it to me before. What did he go on the o and as? He's been on every show but Love Lines. And that's because he's not, you know, a 14-year-old girl with a yeast infection. He, could, he would say that he was, though. <laughs> well, maybe we'll have him do something out there that night. Here's uh, Maureen. Maureen, you're around a Fez. Hey, Maureen. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Hey, girl, I, I buddy. Know, I know Fuzzy. who the donor is. I That's really our did. girl, buddy. Girl, buddy. Really hairy and a big head. Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Girl. All right, easy. Hey, you're scaring us in here. Easy, honey. I don't go for that, all right? Yes, you do. All right, bye-bye. Eight seven seven six nine two one zero two seven. trying to play nice here. Am I right, see? Oh, you always play nice. She's so, you know, Fuzzy, she's quiet. <laughs> but she's like our spokesmodel for the next week and a half. Very nice. The she's, internship countdown clock is on. I know. Uh, uh, is our next intern going to be a hot chick? Do we know, Rory? Uh, I, I haven't seen her yet, but I heard she's a good looking girl. Oh, come on. But that was from Who Maddie. could be hotter than C? When I, do we get the next intern? be in the next couple of weeks. All right, hold on. I got this uh, from Burn Trail. On Pharrell's show, Ass Man is Woody Itty, Itty Giddy. Woody Itty Giddy? 
That's what he was on the Sports Guy show. I don't know what he's on Pharrell now. I don't know if he stays What the, the hell name. kind of name is Woody Itty Giddy? I have no idea. What does that it mean? I have no clue. It has nothing to do with being fat. I, I think out of all the uh, shows, Ass Man is the best name. Oh, by far. So he's Woody Itty Giddy. Then he puts on his The Fat Guy outfit. Right, he's busy all day. Oh, and I know he was the guy with no unit. Yeah, I think they called the him... the guy with no unit. <laughs> I think they just called him Dan. Hey, uh, Eddie, Eddie, run around a fence. Hey, hey Eddie. Yeah. What a... Yeah. What a... Listen, uh, I got the uh, the sperm donor there. Who's it's, that? It's uh, Bob from Bob's Big Boy. You know the big cartoon oh. character, the huge head? <laughs> seriously, that's cruel. Don't you think a little bit? <laughs> it could be... just like Rosie. Yeah, but it seriously. It could either be him. It could either be him or you remember from the Superman comics, the leader? That thing with the huge cabeza? I don't remember that. Uh, well. That's okay. Right. Yeah, always get off on the Bob's Big Boy. Nothing's going to ever be funnier than that. Yeah. Hey, it's happened. Jake, Jake, you're on my face. Hello, Jake. Guys, what's up? Hey, buddy. Hey, it's got to be, um, remember uh, the retard from the Goonie Sloth? Rocky Root? Sloth? I haven't even thought of him in years. <laughs> it can hey. be Sloth or a grown-up Chunk. <laughs> <laughs> chunk hey, would be great. What about, hey, remember the, the fat guy from uh, before? His name was Grossberger. From the uh, from the Richard Pryor movie? Oh, yeah, Terrace. His name was Grossberger. Grossberger. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> But I like Sloth. I think Sloth might be it. Sloth's good. I started thinking of Dewey Oxberger, John Candy from Stripe. Sure. It would all work. Hey, uh, Vince, Vince, you're on Run Fez. Hey, Finch. Er, wait, yeah. Vince. It's Finch. I gotta start wearing my glasses. Yeah, I know who it is. Who is that? Ted Kennedy. Ted Kennedy. Ted right. Kennedy. Nice Irish. 877-692-1027. Hey, uh, Tom, Tom, you're on my face. Hello, Tom. What's happening? Yo, I say it's either Grimace from McDonald's <laughs> or you got William the Refrigerator Perry. Grimace is actually a better one. If the baby's purple, we'll know. Hopefully the baby will be purple. No matter what. For the hey. baby's sake. Yeah. Steve, you're on my face. Yo, I know the donor. Yeah. I eat my own poo. Yeah, thank God. It's mature and stupid. Really, really is. We'll take a break. 877-692-1027. I don't want him getting through anymore, Al. It's the uh, Manifest Show. 